And welcome back to the MLB pregame show as we prepare you for game two of our series with the always important tops player spotlight. Jay Mack has people around the game buzzing. He took home the AL Cy Young Award last year and we can see him there receiving the award from his manager just a few moments ago. Well the secret's out on this guy Hero. He is not only lights out. This guy can get it done. Pitches deep into games. He can eat up innings and more importantly his stuff is elite. I agree Dan. He shut down the league all season long. I'm interested to see if he's built on last year's Cy Young award winning season and gets off to another hot start. All right. Lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. MLB the show has baseball from the Lone Star State as we get a look inside Globe Life Field. Today it's the second of this three game series between the Minnesota Twins and the Texas Rangers. The Rangers continue their incredible hot streak today as they attempt to secure their 16th straight win right after this. Jay Mack gets the starting assignment for the Rangers in this one. Dan any thoughts. Boy, this guy was unbelievably good in this last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. And stepping in, Terrence Brown. He will lead this one off today. Hey, we got no one. First pitch on the way. And we are underway this afternoon for Marlington as the first pitch misses for ball one. Fellas, this Rangers ball club, as they begin play, all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I mean, just a double digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Mercado comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. And now here's a look at the Minnesota Twins starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye Dan. Well I'm definitely interested in seeing Luis Arise today. He leads the entire American League in on base percentage coming into this game. We all know there are a lot of great hitters in this league but he's the best of the best when it comes to getting on and guys. not making outs. The next the batter will be Trevor Larnick. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Three homers and 21 driven in. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And set up behind the dish is Eric Summersgill as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. You know what Dan I'm always baffled when Eric Summers gills behind the dish because he has a tendency to favor one side of the plate. You know that's one of the things I think pitchers get a little bit frustrated with the E train at time. Oh, it's wait. like hey if you're going to give me that inside quarter give it to me but don't keep moving the dish around on me all game. Into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch ball that, ball. that misses one and two should be in for a warm one this afternoon 91 degrees our first pitch temperature. Hit to third. Reined in. Throw on to first. Two gone. Next to hit is Luis Arias. Having a very nice year. Currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him. But I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher attack with that pitch get ahead get the offense on their toes that opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Oh what a 
dive in time. Doing it all at first to end the inning with an exclamation mark. More from the show, Saturday Baseball, following this message and a word from our local station. Now with the plate is Brent Phillips. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Aye. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, no and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. This is why you pay the price of admission right here. Power on power. My money's on the pitcher. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Here now is Rafael Devers. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll enter play here with that average down in the low 200s. Seven homers, 27 driven in. Oh, and one count and the pitch. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Good heater to strike him out there, and he looks absolutely locked in to start this inning. That's back-to-back punch-outs on only six pitches. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. No score here as we play inning number two. Two outs here. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and he's in a hole 0 2 now. Hey, if the beat goes on, that's number eight. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes.
And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Down go the Twins in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Now at the plate, Nicky Delmonico. Off for the twins. They've gotten a gut the punch to start this game. There's Nikki. no doubt about this, but Delmonico. that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. Everybody do their job one at bat at a time. Hey, we got nobody. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got here? presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice right. early feel for his off-speed stuff. Up and the 0-2 pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he's really had it going into the month of June, currently leading the AL in that department. Next up is Caleb Hamilton. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. One out here. First offering on its way. Hey. In there at the knees, strike one. One out, nobody on. Here we go, guys. Strike two as the fastball is let go. After falling down 0 2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Nothing in two count and the pitch. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Ready with the 0 2. Now a flare out to left center. Jackson backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now into the box, Miguel Delgado. Miguel Delgado. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Ah, he couldn't oh, catch up count. with the gas that time. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. Two way now. Here we go, boys. 
sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Rangers on top here, five to nothing. So stepping in is Terrence Brown. He flew out in his last A.B. Here's the first pitch to him. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you, trying to end it quick. And the pitch. And he got him. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Stepping in now, Trevor Larder. Trevor. And he fouls this one off. Winging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. First, yeah. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Pretty impressive back to back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. That'll bring up Luis Arise. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. I got it, I got it, I got it. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Wins are set down one, two, three. They're down nine to nothing. New inning set to get underway. That brings up outfielder Brett Phillips. Now here's the first offering. Oh, and that one swung through the strike zone that time at 98-0-1. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Fouled off. Now another 0-2. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Martin is there, and he has it for the first out. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Next, here is Rafael Devers, and he'll really have to dial it in here, going up against one of the best strikeout relievers one down,
Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. The windup and the 0-1. This that's is up, popped that's up. up. Who's got it? Casas Who it? over to his it? left. I got it. I got it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So next to bat will be Max Kepler. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from that will have to press pause is that strike three to retire the side. 15 up, 15 down to start the ball game. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Rangers lead it 14 to nothing. Next up is the sneaky pop of Mickey Delmonico. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey, no outs. No outs now. First pitch on its way. Yeah. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Swing and misses. Count. He pulls the top two. hand over. It's 0 and 2. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. And it's fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Standing in now, Caleb Hamilton. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball. Straight. One and one. Bases are empty. One man Let's out. Go now. Let's go. Nope. Hit the target, but this is low. Two Three and balls, one. One strike. Hey, one down now. One down. And it's two balls <laughs> and two <laughs> strikes now. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. He's got good swing and miss stuff in this game. That's back to back K's and that was his ninth of the game. If you're striking out one or more in inning you're throwing the ball pretty well. So now to the plate Miguel Delgado as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning swing and a liner and no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning down go the twins in order start the bus they're down 15 to nothing. Now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Terrence Brown struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And he 
falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you can see there, he's really had it going into the month of June, currently leading the AL in that department. Next will be the designated okay. hitter, Trevor Larnick. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Oh, that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Wow, talk about mowing him down. How about two strikeouts on six pitches? He isn't messing around, and these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. In now, Luis Arias. Right side, but it's well fouled. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. Not much you could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Fouled away. Another 0 2 home. Up and oh, in here as he had to bend out of danger. I certainly don't think there was any intention there, but when you see a fastball elevated coming at your face, your first thing is to get out of the way. Two out, nobody on. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Twins are set down one, two, three. Start the bus, they're down 15 to nothing. First pitch. Brett hey. Phillips is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 1. Swing and a ground ball to third. Scooped up. And the off balance throw will be too late. So a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. Uh, so he makes it through seven innings, but they finally get to him for their first hit of the ball game here in inning number eight. Yeah, Matty B, and that just goes to show you how hard it is to pitch a no-no. Gets through 21 consecutive outs without getting up and hit D-Roll, but that wasn't the case here to start off the eighth. Yeah, so much has to go into it. You need to be a little lucky, and you need to be a little good right there. Flip the script on the offensive standpoint. They've stayed with their approach, haven't come out of it, and hopefully this gets them jump started. No hits to this point. Swing and a miss, no and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. No outs here. 0 and 2 count. Here's the pitch. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. You hear that phrase, climb the ladder all the time, and that's pretty much what he did right there. When you change the hitter's eye level with each pitch in that at bat, it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy.
to the plate now. Max Kepler Eight. as he takes a cold strike on the black. It's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Eight. He watches a cold strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. He's had to be sitting out over that outer right, half of the plate guys. for him to take those first two pitches right there. Finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Now back, left field, Nicky Delacroix. At the plate, Nicky Delmonico, Aye. as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Eight. Right on Two. the inside, Black taken for a called strike. Oh, so far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides one of the ball. plate. Good Two command three. of the off-speed pitches. Very little traffic on the bases so far. He couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. And we're going to have a quick stoppage here as a beach ball has made its way into right field. Phillips is off of first with two away. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. Twins wind up stranding one. Start the bus. They're down 15 to nothing. So now into the box is Caleb Hamilton starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill your chances as a professional. You take a look at the numbers up to this point, you see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shot out intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Set and the pitch. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And now here is Terrence Brown. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Bouncer up the middle. And that gets through for a one out base hit. The throw to third. And he is in there. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find yeah, themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hey, one away. One away. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good hard fastball when you're in a jam. Come on, now get two ball right here. Looking to send him packing again. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts in the first two games, so this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Stepping up is Luis Arias. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. 
Strike one to start the at bat. Runners at the corners, two men out. Come on now, here we go. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. And that will be the one that ends it. And the Rangers will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. 15-0.